You done? I'm done. Can I start? Mm, yes. Okay, good. On today's show, we're going to be checking out the Ronin DJ. No, not the DJI Ronin. What, how about we do this again? What does it say? DJI Ronin S? Why does uh, it say DJI S? On Ronin. That would make this a lot easier if it actually had does an it S say on it. on this side? It's, well, it says GH5 on that side. No, this it just says Ronin. Ronin. They apparently don't want you to know. I guess not. On today's show, we're going to be looking at the DJI Ronin S with Mr. Sean Mark Nipper, and this time, we have sample footage. That's right. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here at YouTube.com slash Photo Joseph. Get, I'm getting good at that. It's like fast right? every yeah. time. It's photography, it's video, it's streaming, and today it's gimbals, which is typically used for video, I think. Right. This yeah. is Sean Mark Nipper. You guys know him? Remember Hello him? there. Hello. Remember, I, I helped build this uh, this whole thing he did. you can't see. He <laughs> <laughs> Go back and watch that. That's oh, brilliant. That was, yeah, there was like 20 hours of... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. That was, that was fun. So, uh, Mr. Nipper has come in today, as he did last... Was it just last week for the Vader video? it was video? just last week. It was just yeah. last week. Yeah. That was a popular video. People really liked that. But they gave Maybe. us a little bit of grief because there was no sample footage. Right. 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 And so I've been authorized to show a couple Ooh. of clips that you can also go, hey, that was shot with the Vedra lens. Great. Oh, okay, so, so the samples we'll see today were shot on the Ronin with the Vedra mm -hmm. and the GH5S. Right. So right. essentially this combination except different lens because you yeah. had to ship the yeah. Vedras back. And one of the questions we got, just to jump right into it, is uh, somebody was asking if I were able to pull focus right. on the Vedra lenses with this. Oh. No. The answer is no. No, because right. no, the Vedra lenses are pure mechanical. Right. But you can pull focus with this. Lens. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Yep. So let's uh, let's talk about what this is. So give us give us a recap. This is what the, what this. So you know, DJ has made Ronins. There's, I mean, I think there's Movies. There's there's so many different versions out there that are the you know the the three axis gimbal, so you can have nice smooth footage. Um, I used to have the Ronin M, and and the thing about that is you have to hold hold it up, you know, and with two hands, and then you have to get a little controller, and that, what I didn't like about that is that the camera is so low, it's, you know, at your, at your belly, oh, and okay. so it's difficult, in my opinion, to walk around and get some long takes, right. when, and you also have to have a monitor, so what's great about this is you can actually balance this so the monitor flips out, and you can turn it uh, as you need it, and the fact that it's so light, right. comparatively, I'll go ahead and grab that. Well, to an M, sure. But yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that yeah. is, yeah, nice. And so they did some really cool things because some of the... Got it? I got it, yeah. Uh, some of the three-axis gimbals, this this part right here is actually right behind the screen. Right, so this is the angled one so that you can see your monitor. Because mm -hmm. some, some cameras will have a flip-up monitor instead of right. the articulating, mm -hmm. so that would get in the way. Right. Exactly, exactly. Right. So um, I've also seen some people put some reds on here. I saw a black... Uh, Magic Ursa Mini, and what I've seen them do is they actually flip it around, so this is uh, in the front, oh, really? and it's mounted up above that. So Ursa Mini's big. Yeah, it's a big, wow. it's a big camera, but okay. it can handle it. They say up to eight pounds, so okay. which is really And then cool. I know that Levi um, from Left Coast Media, has he has some videos out showing off the new Atomos Ninja 5, Ninja V, the Ninja mm -hmm. 5, and he has it mounted here, so right. this is a, a can be a mounting point. Indeed, yeah, I can actually put it on the other side as well. Okay, so this, yeah, this is what I saw in his video. This controller, and we'll talk about mm -hmm. what this controller is, you can put that on either side, mm -hmm. and then you can have a monitor on either side. Right. Okay, that's right, really right. cool. And they're always uh, gonna be upgrading the lenses that you can actually attach to this guy. So with this, I've got the... Okay, um, let, let's let's not jump ahead to that yet. Yeah, we're bouncing um, all the things. Where you are, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's, there's this thing too. Yeah, there's that thing. So, okay, so the whole idea is it's a gimbal, it is for Handheld movement, keeping the right. camera nice and steady, right. and exactly. um, yeah, you can just do it. Do a little wink, 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 just so people can really yeah. see if you've never uh, seen so this see. before. It has three modes. So um, with this one, it's the sport mode. So if you want to whip okay, can, quick, you get those. and you can totally design that in the app that okay. comes with it. So we'll take a look at the app. Um, with this one, I've got it set so you can actually pull the trigger, and here's that big. Famous oh, cool. shot that's been already overused. Right, of course. And uh, I decided not to do any of that in this last movie. Probably a good idea. Uh, well, it... yeah, go ahead. But the really, so the main thing is that you're holding it steady even if you're moving and you're bouncing. I mean, if you were holding the GH5 on its own and doing this, you would be, right. you would be sorely sad. Indeed. So this, this is the GH5S on here, which does not have stabilization built into no. it. So it's not kind of being countered at all by this stabilization. Right. You can put a GH5 on here. You probably would turn off the stabilization. Yeah, you because you'll get a little bit of that floating. And, and right. so, which you yeah, generally don't want. Not yeah. doing that. But the whole idea is you get this crazy steady, even as you're bouncing around. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what's it like to set this thing up? I know you've already balanced it. But yeah. But how long, now that you're used to it, how long does it take to get it balanced? So you've got one, two, three, 
And then you've got, let me see, oh, let me switch modes here. Incidentally, for those of you watching live, don't forget we will do a live Q&A at the end of this. Just get your comments in there. Make sure you put at photo Joseph, right. even if it's a question for him. Sure. Put at photo Joseph, then we'll see it on the screen and we'll hit the Q&A later. If you are just looking for the Q&A, scrub to the end of this video and you'll see a link to that. Perfect. All right. Is there anything going to be up there? Later. Okay. Uh, so four and then five. So you've got five different places. Like I just went right back into that um, to balance this baby. And okay. it is. How long does it, it take? I, you know, I'm good at it now. It well, takes about five minutes. Okay. About five minutes. About five minutes. Yeah. Um, and I highly recommend using the app to make sure that it is balanced correctly. So you can actually go through a little diagnostic. It'll check itself out and let you know the the pan tilt and roll. They're all in, in oh, good so pay. in the app, it'll tell you how right. good it is, as opposed to just going, well, it looks like it's right. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because uh, if I hit this little power button right here, this is how you turn it on. If I hold that, turns it off. Hold it again, turns it on. I'm gonna get ready for. This is your device thing. disconnected. Right. Let me actually turn it on this time. There we go. Helps. Bing. I heard a bing. There we go, it snaps yeah. too. Now if Locked I press in. it twice, it'll release the motors and then I can go through and I can balance it. So this guy right here is, uh, I mean, it barely move it and, okay. and just to get that. So yeah, I mean, five different axes is- That you have takes to get balanced. Right, okay. right, so hit that twice. So now let's talk about what's one of the biggest selling points on this particular device, because obviously there's been gimbals millions of them out before. I mean, there's so many gimbals on the market these days, some for quite a bit cheaper than this one. But the big thing on here is that you now have camera control. Right. Uh, not every camera in the world, obviously, but it does control the Lumix series. So you've got okay. the GH5S on here. Yeah. What kind of controls can you get from that? So uh, you, I can stop and start record, obviously, okay. with the little button on the back here. And then this is the, the focus wheel. Here, bring that over here. I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna give a quick close up on there, just trade places. So the focus wheel, you've got the uh, different menus you can switch to. That's the sport mode. I've got that set up so I can do the little. Oh, I see. Goal. You get the little lights up there, the one, two, and three. Uh -huh. That's changing to show you. Okay. Exactly. And that's the one that's more smooth and more forgiving so I can really move my hand around. Okay. Um, and you can totally customize those however you like. Okay, see, so then you get your record start stop button, and then mm -hmm. this is to control the gimbal if you mm -hmm. want to move it manually. And this, by the way, this joystick looks just like the control joystick on a, a DJI drone, which is right, kind of right. yeah. fun. Okay, cool. Yeah. Excellent. So, and then focus control. It's just like we were talking about on the Vader video when, you know, you're measuring out feet with the Vedras, you get that, but this, depending on how fast you go. Okay. So you so have to be very careful. It's mimicking this type of drive right. by wire, focus by wire controls. Exactly. exactly. So can you do very accurate, if you rotate it slowly, get really nice, slow, accurate? Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And now, how did you find for doing something like a focus pull using one of these drive by wire lenses, using that? Is it easy to get a Mark One and Mark Two and go between them, or it's it's still challenging because it depends on how fast you go. So yeah. you know if you're moving and and so it definitely takes some practice to go. Okay, you know I wish I had some of that footage, and we're probably going to get some complaints that we don't have any you know, that. Uh, what's that? We'll, we'll hit the questions. Later. Oh, okay. <laughs> just saw something. Um, so it, you know it's it's definitely a challenge, but with focus peaking, it's just you know it's much easier like, right. to see. Bright green, whatever. Right, right, right of choose, course. So. Now, yeah. the, these <clears throat> cameras, the GH5S and the GH5, can do a focus pull. You can program an A to B right. to C, actually, focus points. Mm -hmm. Can you do anything like that in the Ronin itself? So there is some some uh, pretty fun things you can do. In the app? Yeah. Should we plug in the app so we can see what it. that looks like? Right here. Should you stick that in there? Take that. Hey, -o. And, hey -o. and as soon as you got that up, I'll pull it up in here so people okay. can see what this actually looks like, which is it's pretty cool to see. Um, there we go. That's no, not it, uh, there it is. Perfect. There it is. Okay, nice. Right. And I'm not cut off. Um, so you've got your configuration. You get the status. You can take a look at the battery. It's fully. Which by the battery, they say lasts 12 hours. That's not a lie. Really? I've I've used this thing. I used it two days and didn't even charge. Are it. Are there and four batteries? Uh, yes. Four compartments inside this thing. Oh, okay. So, and incidentally, you can't get any extra stuff yet. They haven't started selling any of their uh, accessories. Nice. Of course. So, yeah, of course. Um, device, it's Bluetooth connected, shutter control, I got that, it's plugged in. Um, the, let me see, I'd show that. The configuration, this is where you can go in and uh, really control the pan, tilt, and roll, as you can see. So I can actually. Uh, so if you adjust that now, there. here, let's pull this back into frame sure. a little bit so people can see. 
There we go. So as you're adjusting yeah. that, are we going to see it move up here? No, no not if you, uh, it just depends on how fast you want it. So Okay. Oh, that's for speed control. Right, right, right. I exactly. See. Oh, stiffness. Got it. Yeah. So if I go into settings and I hit more and then I can do the balance test, now it will go through its little own diagnostic mm -hmm. and then let you know how well it is. Now, when I first started using this on the movie, I wasn't doing this before I started using it. I would just okay. balance it, eyeball it, great. Right. And one of the clips I'm going to show you, I actually had to go in and do some stabilization because what it does, if it's not completely balanced and you're moving, it it judders a little oh. bit because it's trying to find, it's trying to balance right. itself. And so, so uh, yeah, critical so, then to do that. So if it, if so, here it says good, yeah, excellent, good. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm will fine it with that. Tell That's, you how to adjust it? Like does it tell you what's wrong? No. Well, okay. you just go the tilt. Okay. So. Uh, the tilt, you need to go in and work on that. And then I'm okay. going to pull the roll. Uh, that's this guy. I'm sorry, this guy. Um, and, and then the pan. pan. pan, pan. Yeah. So it's good. All right. So it's nice. It tells you whether you're not, you know, really good or not good. But it right. I wish it would tell you what to do. Right. Yeah. Like, Can you know, you move, it back it, move it a tiny bit forward, a tiny bit back. Because that, I've set these up, not the Ronin, but I've set up other gimbals before. Mm -hmm. And it can be a challenge. You're like, you know, you move it a tiny bit. Right. And, it, and you're going, well, which way am I supposed to move it to get exactly. it? Like, am I moving this one or this one or this one? And, exactly. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. A little more information there would be helpful. But Indeed. And then you go into Smooth Track and you can, uh, for this, yeah, I have everything on low. So that way it's the most forgiving as I'm moving around. Okay. Uh, as I switch to user setting number one. Okay, so those are the buttons we saw in the back, or the lights we saw in the back, the right. different modes. This okay. is set on high, so that way I can, I can whip it that back and forth. That was that whip hand you did. Exactly, Neat. exactly. Okay. Then, it's got create, which I have not even dove into this okay. whatsoever, but you've got panorama, time lapse, motion lapse, oh, okay. track. So this is kind of cool. What? If I want to track here. Oh, you can set positions? Right. Oh, oh that's so And then cool. you can just drag them around. Like wow. that. Wow. And so and this thing does go 360, so it right. will let's see, that's too high. Let's go let's go down here like that. And then number two, I want it actually up here like that. So once I hit record, you can tell how long do you want it to go in between each movement. Okay. And so if you've if you've got a shot that's that's planned out, you just set this thing on the ground and you can say, okay. Follow an actor yeah. walk across the room. Yeah, you say right. their dialogue is a certain amount, and then yeah, you could totally do this. Wow. Oh, free. So can you control focus through here as well? You know, that's a good question. I don't think you can. I think it's, you got to stay, you know, at that that'd be level. Because really, so. then that would give you those focus pull A to B points if you could mm -hmm. control focus on here like that. That would yeah. be cool. But yeah, it doesn't look like there is. Yeah. Maybe there is if somebody knows, because um, obviously this is still fairly new here. Yeah. But you got panorama. That's really neat. So okay. yeah, you get some fun stuff. And I keep thinking about doing, uh, it would take a while, but walk, like lock onto the Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Who's it's that? The hotel. The hotel downtairs. It used to be called the Mark Anthony. Did it? Yeah. How 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 long uh, have you, been, you been here forever? Uh, yeah, no. um, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 big one. The big one. Okay, yeah, the good. big the hotel big downtown. Hotel. Lithia Ashton Springs. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It's the uh, yeah. and just lock on and do a um, a motion lapse through town. Oh. To okay. go, you know, you like a hyperlapse. Right. Hyperlapse. Yeah, hyperlapse, you can do yeah. that. Right. It probably is the motion lapse. It's called a hyperlapse. So. Yeah. Okay. Which is interesting because I was just looking at the new. Uh, Hero, the GoPro Hero, right. which is GoPro, not DJI, right. uh, and they're doing a hyperlapse on there that's automatic. It's supposed to be really, really good. Yeah, well, they're uh, supposed to have really good endless shape stabilization. Oh God, yeah, that's crazy. Camera, that, so. I, I, may actually, I, may have to, I may have to get yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, okay. So, yeah. Neat. I mean, God, so cool. So your, your vote oh, on this is it's a definite buy? Configuration. Actually, let's go back in here. I was going to do create. Oh. Capture. So this is pretty cool. And we actually did this. We set this on a monopod. Okay. And I fixed it to a C stand and use it as a jib. Okay. And then I controlled the camera remotely from here. Yeah. Wow. Right. That's really. And that's cool. super fast. Everything's at eighty. So let's drop this down to twenty or so. And now. Okay. So much, much more controlled. Right. That's pretty awesome. Kind of beats the hell out of my gimbal. It does. <sighs> yeah. It does, yeah. I mean, it costs about twice as much. Which, here, let's bring that up real quick. So here's the cost. This is right now. What, what is today? This is, oh, that's right. It's Halloween. So this is October 31st, 2018. There's the price, seven forty nine. Huh. It went up 50 uh, bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. When it came out, it was six ninety nine. Now, oh, no kidding. I, well, I bought that one was... on B&H right when I had the, uh, <laughs> the money. <laughs> there's that. Um, it took about a month, I mean, five, six weeks. 
and it still was out of stock. I was oh. just like, what the heck? Oh, right. And this was in August. Best Buy, right? I got it through Best Buy of all places. I went on there and they said in stock. I'm like, can you get what? here by Friday? And it was my birthday month. I got 10% off. So I got it for like $630. By the way, birthday month. Birthday month? 10% at- off. Yeah. The whole month of your birthday, you get 10% off at Best well, Buy? Well, one time. One time. One so time. One, okay. one purchase. So okay. I put it towards this. Wow. So, yeah. I didn't know that. Brilliant. And oh. I got it by Friday. got to use it. I wonder if they so. have affiliate links. I'll have to figure that out. All right. Let's figure Best Buy out. <laughs> That's pretty good. places, for Christ's cool. sake. Yeah, really? I mean, who would yeah. have thought? You know, they were actually at Photo Plus. They had a huge banner in there at Photo Plus. Like, Best Buy is making a real attempt to get into this higher-end market. Bizarre. Weird. Who would have Yeah, because I go it? in there and it's like almost like Radio Shack used to be. Oh, we don't have that, but we can order it for you. Yeah, like, yeah thank great. you. I, I, I know how to use the internet. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the footage because okay. we do have that. So you're, we're just going right. to play this. There's two clips. There's um, what do we have? It's, it's about two minutes, forty five seconds worth of footage. Uh-huh. It's going to play silently. You're going to okay. talk over it and tell yeah. us what it is we Sounds are good. looking Sounds at. Good. Sounds good. All right, let's. Uh, I love it. All right, so this was the the oneer we call it that I was talking about that my shorts were too loud. Oh, for yeah. the sound guy, and I had to drop to my skivvies and bare feet. <laughs> she must have appreciated that. And I did not balance this thing correctly before I started. So I did do some image stabilization in post okay. on this. Now, by the way, this sh- this is shot log. Um, we dropped a LUT on it, but we haven't done any custom grading to it yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, so. yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty basic. So um, this took some work to, because as you start to push down, and what I mean push down is lean down with the with the the gimbal. Okay. It grabs and starts to go, but it's got that that balance where it's like how slow and when when does it stop? Sure. And so you really have to work that and understand. But I mean Now yeah. are you at any point are you using the joystick to move the camera or is all this movement? This just is all with my just with the wrist's wrist. body. Yep. There was a jump mm-hmm. I saw. Yeah. yeah, and there's one too. Yeah. Yeah. This is shot on the GH5S. It was. No, no, this is actually the GH5. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So a couple of little moments there at the end. Okay, so, yeah, a couple little bumps in there. Yeah. Um, okay. And then this next one was out on the dock, and it, wait till the end because it's an interesting thing. Now, what I did there is I pulled the trigger, and I, I just dropped it down. So it's so kind it's of inverted? Actually, uh-huh, it's okay. underneath me now, and so I'm holding it uh, right at my waist, Okay. and the camera's on the... On there. Um, she forgot to take the shopping tag off of her boot. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, beep. Okay, let's try oh, that, that again. Hysterical. <laughs> Little things for. So she's supposed to be an FBI agent, as you can see. Her name's Abby Wathen. You can IMDb her. She's done a lot of bunch of great stuff. And so this is at the end where you can kind of tell. We didn't really rehearse this, and so as I'm coming up next to her, I'm walking right next to her here. And at the end, I was trying to really do this like kind of walk around when she right. stops. And you can see how it is just ever so slight to try to get the camera to turn. Right. I wanted it to turn once. I, that one's working out a little bit, a little bit, and then not so much here. Yeah, okay. I think a lot of this just comes down to practice. I mean, to be fair, you did just get this and thing. Then, Right here, I am running backwards. Running? As fast as I can. Running? Wow. Running backwards. I mean, that's pretty that's, freaking stable. Seriously, <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah. Okay, wow. Running, and it was that stable. That's, yeah, yeah. That's so, yeah, just so you guys can tell. Oh, by the way, uh, if you have a DJI Osmo uh, mobile, double click, and that gets you back. So, okay. if you are here, boop, boop, get you right back. But as you hold the trigger, you can neat drop it down so that's what i did i was running with right. it like this drop it wow like that so then now because okay so that's interesting back. so you're flip it flip it back over keep it up here so audience can see it now because this if you're going to tilt it up this would get in the way so right. can you 360 yeah. it you can uh you can you can i think there is a way let me see here i think you want to go, what if you just go oh. <laughs> selfie mode? mode. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so instead of dropping it down like this, just do a 360 or 180 this way. Let me see. Oh, other, uh, other direction. There you go. Like there that. you go. So now you got it. So now you could have it tilted up if you wanted to mm-hmm. do, let's see, it would be this way. Yeah. 
right? So if you want to carry it to the ground, but pointing up, doing running. Right. Okay. Right. Excellent. Exactly. God, this and is then cool. Double click. Comes back. Comes back here. So then, yeah. Neat. Ah, so cool. All right. Very cool. Now well, thank you very much. I think uh, I think we've I think we've seen it. Well, let's see. We'll hide this part of it. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I think that's good. All right. Well, let's uh, let's jump into the Q and A because I know there might be some questions on there. Indeed. So, um, yeah. So once again, guys, if you're watching live, you got questions, drop them in there. Also, wanted to let you know if you haven't checked it out yet. So remember, we've got the whole membership thing over at photojoseph.com. I've been adding new components to that. They're the newest component that's been added for members is a private Facebook group that is members only. Now, not only does that mean that it's a much smaller community where people are much more likely to interact with each other, myself included, it's also a place for me to go live at just totally random moments, like I'm in the back of an Uber and I got nothing else to do and I can go live and answer some questions. So that's just started. So the group is quite small now, but as a member of photojoseph.com slash members to learn all about that, that is something you will have access to. Am, um, I, am which, I a member of that? You're like, you're an honorary member. Oh, so nice. you do have access. If oh, you sweet. checked your email, you would have seen the one that says, um, you can come in and join, but that's okay. <laughs> I gotta check my... You probably should check your email. All right, guys, uh, let's head over to the Q&A, and, uh, and we'll see you there. <laughs>